Mama Mubi Toku Silarong. This justice from Mubad. So if Nigerian police has been told not to treat petition from Abba Mubad, we need to see the evidence, then we need to go for the, that person. The person that said don't treat the, the petition. Does that not make sense? Does that not make sense? We are all here, we are fighting for Mobad. And somebody said don't treat anything from Mobad. So before we fight for Mobad, we go for that person. That's what, my, what, that's what I'm saying. So why are people like this? Is it all about you? It's not about you. It's about Mobad. It's about Lero Lua. Bubu wata asoro yi. Ko sinu wato yi mo yi kuto makpa wad mo yi. Mi omobu ya yi gilo ba ye pa o. We don't know. Everyone will die, but you don't know. Do you know the... Do you know the... Do you know the... Do you know the... Move on. I want to know what you're fake profile. Move on. They don't... They don't... They don't... They don't... We are saying, we are saying, we are fighting for fight. justice. Justice, we want. Justice, we must get. I don't have to think like you, but when yeah. I say things that requires my attention, I go for it professionally. I don't have to come on your platform and be doing what, 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 or whatever you call it. I have got no time for that. I've got my time for precious things. But I'm, even me myself, I know the number of petitions I've written on this case. And you are telling me that they said don't treat any petition. You need to tell me that person no. So I can go for the person. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Just a quick one. What about that um, policeman that told Prime Boy that he has a knife that uh, Chuku Chuku uh, Mobad? Where is it, that policeman now, Mohammed? Uh, it's, 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 because, it's because we are not paying attention. We are not paying attention to this police issue. You know what I mean? But now that we have an information that they said don't treat petition from Mobad's case or from Baba Mobad, we can use that one to penetrate all of them. That's what I'm saying. That's right. You're right. Well, you don't. You just don't want us to say the truth. Why are people like this? You just want all of us to come and listen to you. After listening to you, we'll go and sleep. We'll wake up the next day. We we'll go to work. Is that even the know? police, even the police have said things on their preliminary report that they cannot even defend. You should listen to that report carefully. That's what I'm saying. But now, mm -hmm. we have the key information that said, police said, or somebody in the police, I have that record that any petition from Baba Mubad or Baba Mubad, you know, should not be treated. So it means even if you write 500 petition, you are deceiving yourself. But so, you, the, we, we could always find out the uh, the outcome of any petitions, right? Because um, I I, I believe your concern. I, I agree with your concern. But this thing can be done easily. We don't need to wait for who, who said it or not. If we are in concern that maybe the petition has been put in the bin, then we could ask for it for an update, right? No, sir, so you're not getting it. The the impression I got from that was any petition written on Mubad or from Baba Mubad should be trashed. No, it's not possible. No, no, no. no. I'm telling you, go, 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 go you, sir, listen, there are people, there are a lot of people that go on this app and record people or record things. Mm -hmm. Go and look for yours. You will hear that place today. So what I'm saying is this. Mm -hmm. If that information is true, then it is time for us to go after the police. Does that make sense to you, sir? Yeah, I know, but I said we could, there's no need for us to wait if the information is true. If anybody, if any one of us has a petition already, or maybe somebody can reach out to Baba Mubad, we want to know. No, the forget, forget about, petition. forget about. See, if you follow this case very closely lately, you will agree with me that there's no point reaching out to Baba Mubad. Yes. I spoke with him in the past. I spoke with people that are very close to him, but I don't do that anymore. Don't okay. go there. Okay. Don't go there. Let's go for the public. And the public is the police that refuse to treat all petition or mobile should be called out. Exactly. So that's, that's what I'm saying. There's no need to wait for the I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going. No, but if if somebody can say, do you get know I me mean? expressly? 
Yeah, but, but that, we, we could approach we, it. We can approach it in a different way. Let's yeah, explain we, we them. Can, we we can, want to know what's going have, on publicly. No, we, no, we can. But yeah, if yeah. we have an evidence that that actually happened, you know, that, that will make our job a lot easier. Because now we, we'll be speaking from the place of fact with evidence on the side. But if that statement is not correct, then we can approach it from another angle. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so before we approach it from another angle, because I, for one, have been waiting for feedback on petitions, actions or petitions. But today, I, I heard that they said, don't do this. You know, see, we need to be very careful. A lot of people are interested in justice for Mubad for different reasons. Some, they just want to use it as therapy to deal with their mental health. Some, they just want to use it because they are too, 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 uh, what, what do you call it? They don't have anything to do with their time, just any time on social media. Some, they are very keen about the state of affairs in Nigeria. Do you get what I mean? So we have different approach to this justice for Muba. And if you want if you don't want to hear the truth, then take this away from the ears of the public. But tell me, in case of Muba, even when you think it's all done, it will come over again. Because there are some people that will not give up on it. That's right. When all of you, when you are tired and you've gone, even when you bury more bad, this case will still be in court. Because it's a case that can redeem and change the status quo in Nigeria. So you cannot come to the in the air of the public and say, Nigerian like, police, they said, don't treat it. No, 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 don't, no, don't do that. They're not sure. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But that, 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 this case, the way I'm I'm looking at it from another dimension is that. Um, if at all the police were not able to prosecute those that really committed this crime and um, I'm, I'm taking it to be a case of um, i don't know if anyone is familiar with uh, the oj simpson case in the u.s many years ago uh sir let me let me finish so that i can step down to carry on with your engagement the two things uh, the two things i came up to ask is from that life today, I think is it everyone's auntie? Everyone's auntie, yeah, I think it was mentioned that the Nigeria police has been told not to deal with any petition from Baba Mobad or from Mobad. We need an evidence of that, and as soon as we lay our hands on that evidence, we will sue Nigerian police. will because they are meant to be for the people they are meant to be for the society but if there's an authority that can stop them from doing what they need to do then we have to rise as citizens against the organization that's number one number two they said a death certificate was issued in every death certificate there's cause of death. A country where I live, if I, that certificate goes in love, you can use you can use that certificate to claim the person's life insurance, you can use it to do a lot of things. Because a professional, a medical professional, before they can formally register a date, they will ascertain in that certificate the cause of death. So before or whilst we wait for this uh, new autopsy, can we see a copy of that certificate that that were given or that was issued? Was it by Kuramed Hospital Abikile Timankwebe? That hospital that issued this death certificate. The professional. I think they denied that. Well, that was denied by the Kuramed, right? But the police mentioned it in their statement. So we need the police to give us copy of that certificate. I think it's a statement, not a certificate, right? <laughs> no, they said it that, that the certificate was later issued. Another thing, if they said 
death certificate was issued, mm -hmm. do you know, I'm asking publicly right now, do you know that sometimes you can have a death certificate where it's said that they give a different category, but they took the, the final statement will be not ascertained? You know that? Sir. Yeah. The how can they say not a certain if they did not um the person did not apply in their hospital? Okay, maybe maybe I don't know more about Nigerian um system. Sir, sir let me say this. But, let me sorry, say this. I I am a living evidence and a living witness. That's why I'm coming up. That's why I'm coming from. Really, I lost my son about ten years ago, right? <clears throat> okay, they will say cause of death. And I jumped. I jumped to the Indian government to find out the reason I was really mad with the corona. Are you are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. And. It went. It actually went to to court because when the first death certificate was issued, right, they put all the prognosis or whatever happened, swimming, drawn, was there any drug in the system and all those things. But eventually, right, I have to succumb to what is stated on that certificate, which up to now I'm still living with it because I'm not convinced. I'm just, I'm telling you from my own experience. I don't know how the Nigerian system works, but I, I have experienced it. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, That's the reason why I'm saying this. I, I get where you're coming from. When the police made their statement, they said a death certificate was later issued. Okay? So, we need the details of that certificate. Because part of the information on that certificate, either they say cause of death cannot be ascertained, okay? But if you say cause of death cannot be ascertained, that means you have gone through a process of trying to confirm the cause of death, which is what we are doing in terms of autopsy. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That it doesn't have no. to be saying. Yeah. Yes. The statement can still be on ending statement. Yes. So now, so now, now, that we have another angle to this Nigerian police thing about all these petitions that we're not getting results on. And now, Bossman mentioned it today on that live. Can we have all of these evidences? So we can go in a robust form on Nigerian government or Nigerian police. Forget about this TikTok thing. Forget about social media. No. That's not going to do it. We know, or when you pinch us at the wrong spot, we spill. There's no life you host on this justice for nobody that don't listen. And listen very keenly. I pick the important part, the ones I need to laugh about, I laugh about it. But trust me, our passion is towards a Nigeria that works for everybody. In Nigeria, that work for every Nigeria, regardless of your of your of your group, God, we will not stop at anything on this justice for nobody. Even when you think it's done, it's not done, my brother. I'm telling you now, it's not done. We will still bring it up. So, if Nigeria please are intentionally not putting our petitions because they've been told not to do it, then it's time for us to go after them. The father of Mobad or Mobad's family cannot go after Nigerian government. Only the public can. I belong to the public because I'm not exactly. from the family. Okay? And the money that has been used to preserve Mobad's body or the money that was used to exhume Mobad's body is taxpayers' money. It's still public. Okay? It's not about, it's not about the family. Take the family aside. This crime is no is not against the family, it's against the state. It doesn't have anything to do with the family. The criminality does not have anything to do with the family. It's the state. And that's why the state is doing everything they can, or the police is trying to influence whatever they can. Let's go into action. Enough of all this uh, here says they said ahead, no, 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 leave it. You're not gonna get you're not gonna go far with it. Bring the evidence, take away. Uh, so no 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 take it away take it away we have seen mobad's mom laughing jokingly mobad is still there in the mug i'll be at the mug in the eyes the body will continue to shrink every day till it gets to skeleton 
We have seen Baba Mubad as well. Laughing, joyfully in church. People are moving on from this matter. I, I won't. I won't blame them because people. No, do. I'm saying that may be their Let's own see, way don't, of. Don't don't judge the mom or the dad. I'm no, I'm not judging. I'm just I'm making a sense. I'm not, I'm trying to make a point. I'm not judging anybody. Okay. I mentioned both of them so that you can understand that this matter is ultimately against the state. Does that make sense to you? Forget about people will move on. You know, when you lose somebody, they say time will tell. After a while, you grieve, you mourn, you cry, you move on. Yeah, but the pain is always there. You know, it's like the a pain, for, forget you move on from pain as well. Yeah. After I mean, a while, you move on from pain. Nobody leave me pain forever. Time heals everything. That's correct. But, um, but the only thing that time will not heal in this matter is the state of affairs in Nigeria. Oh, oh, seven. Yeah. Yeah, afternoon. Yeah, uh, if, I, if, if I may ask you, um, mm -hmm. between the dad and the, and between the dad and the mom, no, which of them do you think is... Let's not family into this, please. Let's no, 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 no. Let's, I'm let's, I'm let's I'm clarify. Very, I mean, I mean, I mean, let's I mean, clarify, I mean, let's clarify okay. some things. I mean, we're not, we're not... So, you can carry on with that. I don't want, you see, when I, when I speak on this matter, yeah, when I speak on this matter, I speak from different level and different ground. And I'm trying as much as possible to make sure only the fat goes out there. People move on from things. The only thing yes, that makes this one to stand well. out, the only thing that makes this case of Moba to stand out at the moment is because he's not being reburied. He was originally buried. We are waiting for the reburial. Okay. So because he's no, we've not done the reburial, that's why this case stands out. But the truth of the matter is this. We don't know who will be the victim tomorrow. Okay? We have seen Mobad as victim of circumstances. And we have seen the way this has been treated. This we are all very upset with. But do you know who the next victim is? We ain't got no clue. And because we don't have a clue, and we're having all this on Nigerian police, Nigerian police, Nigerian police, Let's take action. I'm telling you, personally, if I have that evidence, I will sue Nigerian police on this case. I will sue Nigerian police as a Nigerian. And that's the truth. Because they are meant to be very unbiased, carry everybody, look after everyone, make everyone's life easy and good. Okay? Everyone has moved on. A lot of people have decided going to parties. People are doing ceremony. People are laughing. People are smiling. The only people that are not smiling at the moment are common Nigerians that has been messed up mentally because of this case. The only people that are not smiling at the moment are Africans all over the world, not non Nigerians, that has been messed up because of this case. So, people can move on. If we are not getting results, I'm telling you, even when you think this case is done, even when family resolve and bury more bad, this case will still come up. Because it's going to be in the eyes of the court forever. And there will always be reference to the case of more bad, 19 whatever it happened. And that's going to go that way. So please, if you have these two informations, pass it on. It is time for those of us that live abroad there are some places where you say you're in nigeria they turn and look at you again because they see you as someone that has got potential to do many bad things and this case has been in the media yes, right stereotype you're talking about yeah everyone is watching Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. And when you talk too much, hey oh, you are pinching Baba oh, hey oh, you are pinching Mama oh, hey oh, you are pinching Mumi oh. These people, they still have a whole, in fact, glorious years ahead of them to redeem, to change, or to make amends. Some of them can still born again, the ones that are not born again now. They can still make heaven. But has Mubad got that chance? No. Has Nigeria got that chance to redeem what is going on now? No. So if police need to pack all of us, let them start packing us. 
so that we can treat and redeem Nigeria. Thank you very much. Mm, yeah, Yodi, thank you. Oh. Yeah, um, oh, oh, one, uh, I wanted to just ask you that before, and um, he doesn't want to talk much about the parents, and he doesn't want to. No, what I was... said. What I said is quite simple. Mm. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Yes, loudly. What I said is, um, I'm actually very open-minded about the case. Whether uh, it's coming from Baba, it's coming from the wife right because based on the experience i've exposed to sometimes you know we all get emotional about the situation or the build up towards the event i remember i was talking to papa and i was on friday that um what what do we do with the bullies you know and i, and I mentioned and i'm still mentioning mubad has been killed before his death because bully is not something you take lightly Bully affects you mentally, affects your judgment, affects yes. everything that you do. Mm -hmm. And this is where I'm coming from. That listen, okay, let's let's just be practical about the whole thing. The guy was shrinked. He went shrink despite if despite the fact his skills level, his talent, everything. The guy shrinked himself because of unforeseen event. To the extent I don't know whether that's true or not that. Even to have a baby in the hospital, he was paranoid. And look at what happened. Let's assume that maybe it was the situation of the nurse and all this event. Had he been, he allowed to come in. Just to come in before. Second, Sorry. Had he been allowed himself to be checked in the hospital? Right? I'm just saying, yeah, that would be a chance for him to leave. If that's the case of the nurse thing, I'm not sure. But I'm just saying, from the from the narratives that we have about the nurse, treatment mm, okay. that with them unqualified personnel that would have been avoided had it been the guy was in paranoid about going to the hospital in the first place yes. so, this is why I and this is bullying how long you've been how long you've been on this case anyway if i may ask mm. oh actually uh immediately because um my wife was quite keen about this case and i mm. love his music right i i, I listened to his music before his death right so i saw him as a upcoming talented person artist young artist in nigeria so and when the death came in i wasn't i wasn't shocked he actually affected me mentally because it wasn't, i didn't my son was alive by the same age as him right so right. i was thinking that all the time that what a waste right and okay that's basically what, you basically you've been on this case from the onset yeah maybe I'm, okay i'm a busy person right maybe i maybe i wasn't to follow on a daily basis the whatever narrative that's coming behind maybe i'm mm. i put my hands up on that yeah yeah because what i'm asking you make mention of um it was paranoid to go to the hospital and uh when maybe, his wife was maybe 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 okay you're maybe not this narrative of the inviting a nurse to come home <laughs> Mubad okay. can, he has money, right, to, to actually get himself checked into one of the best clinics in Lagos and get treated. Correct. So, but haven't you seen videos um, online where he was in the hospital bed himself? That's what I'm saying. That's part of the bullying. They are begging for them to treat. They say they don't want to treat him. That's yeah, haven't you seen him? He was crying on the video that they should treat exactly. him in the hospital. Exactly. That's part of the bullying. This is, this is where I'm coming from. He has been killed before his death. Yeah, okay. If you want to establish that, how can you establish that on how and, and at at when he finally died? How will you put this into it? Listen, mm. uh, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Maybe you don't understand the extent of bullying. I'm sorry to say that. I'm not I'm not being rude. Mm. When a child, even an adult at work, right, is being bullied, cornered, you are unable to express yourself. You don't feel yourself. You no, know, the self-esteem is completely dropped. You shrink. And that alone affects your mental decision. Mental judgment has been tampered with. This guy came to London. Let me give you the scenario. This guy came to London and he was asking for security that, oh, will I get this? Will I get that? Who does that? Listen, the video of whiskey will come to London. They're not looking for all those huge huge kind of for security they're not looking for reassurance of all those things are you getting my point 
right? And I don't know how to express it. Bullying is a mental crime. It's a torture. And I can feel it. I saw this guy's face. Most of the interview that I went back to watch, I saw his face. In his music, he, he, he reflected the bullying. Mommy. Do you yeah. think the bully? The, 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 do you think the bully is coming from, from, from? Is not within his household as well? Listen, do you think that? listen. I'm not the judge of that, right? Okay. Yeah. So we can. We, all, all, all I'm saying. Very. Let's be. Let's be careful about this, right? All I'm saying. The guy. Okay. For example, he wrote a petition back in the days, maybe about a year or two years ago, right? And it wasn't that way. And even his music, some of the tracks even mentioned it. Now listen, all I want is to be out of this. My spirit doesn't belong to you. I want to move out and be on my own, which he did eventually. And that's what led to his death. This is what I say, right? The guy was bullied. Many of the shows that he wants to do, he was stopped. The only time that the guy got a leeway, apart from his new album, is all the shows that he did abroad. That's how he was able to find income for his family. Are you not getting the point? Yeah, I, I don't do. see the link. This guy okay, has been killed you... before his death. Yeah, but the person who finally actually killed him, yes, we, we hear that point that he was dead before his final death. But the person who actually took his life should be held accountable. Yes, because he I went to with all those narratives, but what's, what's for me, what's consistently cleared? That we even saw the video evidence when this guy called the this asshole Sam Larry trying to, you know, match it and down. I mean, that's absurd. I'm sorry. It, bullying is a hideous, heinous crime. If you do that over here, you get minimum ten years jail. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah but but oh, oh, well, we still cannot we we still cannot pin that. We, yes. We still cannot pin that to his um, eventual death. Yeah, so that, that is, we, we have to make that clear and yes, the police are also i agree with you but what i'm saying to you that yes you you're the, talking about the physical death war actually eventually how he got killed yes you're right yeah, about it, it. in terms but of those saying, in terms, saying, all in terms all of those bullets all i'm saying let's assume let's assume this guy got injured right the night that he got injured fight fought with for prime boy in the, in and he was complaining about his hand was pain and all that in the normal circumstances yeah, he didn't fight with the prime boy one minute, one minute. I'm, I'm, I'm just following the narrative right no but he didn't fight with one prime boy that one i would disagree let, let, let him talk let him talk then you thank can, you you can, can disagree can, with me but this is you can go to tell him what I, I just believe that this guy would have if, if it not because of his mental judgment yeah a common man who can afford to go to clean to to a clinic will check himself to a clinic doesn't need any any fake or quack medical personnel at home he can just say i'm going straight to the clinic which which this brother just mentioned that you know that he has been there before because of what he has experienced that actually shrink his judgment right this is where i see it we can, my, my no, matter, no matter how we try to move away to run away from all these things yes you're right about whatever happens in the in the house all this um, evidence of argument narrative that what happened between him and his wife or how his wife has been whatever you know but i'm just fighting from personal concept for me that all those bullying should have been stopped a long time back and this guy will the guy is clever he's a very humble and very clever man i would call him man right and he was just taken out like that i mean that's not fair i'm sorry okay uh, oh seven, oh oh one i think you've as well heard um the voice note between him and his him and um, his wife you've heard that right i i heard that but um can i say something where, where I, was, I, was I, lamenting I, yes i went i actually went to listen to this more of the time and there's a two narratives regarding that one other was saying that um I don't want to go into this mental stuff. You know, when you call somebody a narcissist sometimes, you know how narcissists behave? Wait, when you call them a narcissist. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You look in, you, you hold somebody as a pre. Uh. You, you can pre, you can vent your frustration. It's not even frustrating. They're looking for kind of reassurance. Right? That's, and that's, that's another view of that video. Another side of it, it could be element of truth. 
I'm quite hoping on that, to be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be hoping on it. Had it been, he hasn't been through all this mental torture. Forget about the mollies, forget about all this recreational drug. I'm not even concerned because they couldn't even find any of those in his blood. The guy stopped. He actually stopped smoking. Right? He was clean. But what, what hasn't been cleaned of is that bullying, the mental, the, the buried this guy alive. I'm sorry. He was smoking. He was, it was, it was smoking. He was smoking lately. He was smoking lately. Alive, mentally. That's what I mean. Mentally. That's what I mean. Sorry. I don't want to get too much in about it, but that's, that's, the, that's the only thing that just bugs me a lot. Yeah? And coming to what uh, Weodi was mentioning about Nigerian, yeah, we all know Nigeria is badly corrupted. You know, it's a, it's a system which I believe mobile, mobile case could probably, would probably have an impact restructuring the system along the line. It could be well into its own industry and it could be Nigerian at large. It's a, it's a watchful case all over the world. Right? And I agree that even burying him doesn't stop the agitation or the, it's not going to end the case until we finally lay the case that it could be it could be years to come. I agree with that. But what so from your from, but, from but your what own I'm, what I'm fighting for at this current time, first let the police do the right thing and one of the right thing they do is to go after the bullying. There's so many people out there they still experiencing what bad experience. We need to stop. Stop killing this youth. Stop killing these talented people. Stop bullying. Stop it. It's not good. Sorry. Yeah, from 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 your own um, perspective of um, his death, would you? How would you base his death? If if I may ask you, uh, as in you've been listening to some um, narrative about I died and then, um, how would you now base his death? Would you say he died of bully or? It was murder or is it, is it negligence? Listen, listen to what I said initially, right? Honestly, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm still, I'm still repeating it. When you're bullying, right? You are the mercy. It's a mental torture, right? The decision making is badly affected. Even before you make a final decision, you jump into wrong thing. And this is what this is where I'm coming from. Let's assume. Let's assume. I'm using that word assumption that the narrative about he, he had injury, injury, or maybe somebody used a voodoo on him, whatever. Right? Had he been, had he been, hasn't experienced those torture while going to the hospital? How much will it cost him to check himself to a clinic? It wouldn't cost him the dime out of his money he's making. That wouldn't cost him a dime, but because he's afraid, anywhere he goes, he's shrinked. The guy got shrinked. I mean, come on, look at look at whiskey, look at Bonaboy, Boy, look at all even the young, or look at uh, is all these young 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 artists. They're confident where I, they I, go. I, I understand what you're saying, but I want to I want to try to also um, make you clear us that okay, I will say now that. It's not bully that killed him finally, right? Did you accept that? I, I agree with what you say. You talk about the physical death, but look, look at yeah, the, yeah. look at the sequence of event. Sequence of him not be able to be man enough, even to even follow up on his um what they call it on his petition. Those things comes from the bullying, and it's come from the system failure of Nigerian government badly okay. corrupted. Because had it been that petition was dead with initially, the guy would have regained his confidence back. Because he's clean, he's not a robber, he's not a hard robber, he's not doing fraud, he's not a Yahoo boy. He's living on his talent. He was living on his talent. He's still living on his talent. I will use that word actually. Right? So had it been Nigeria government faces squarely, okay, Mr. Loba, you, you came with this petition. And you mentioned this, this, and who? Let's do an investigation with someone, money, with someone, money, these people to come back. Blah, blah. Then those people will be scared to back off away from him. But the system yeah. failed him. 
Remember, what are you yes, almost emphasizing on bully? Bully, yes, we know is one part of the aspect that may, may attribute to that. But this guy, I think he was living his life, even though they were bullying him, you know? Because if, if, if he was really bullied, stressed or depressed, he could have gone to that concert and play where he came back, he was quiet in his house. No, so no, don't no. Much emphasize on the bullying. Uh, uh, let, me, let me use that word. Sorry, let, let, me, let me correct that statement. Sorry. You know, this guy... His skill set, his talent is what he, that's his job. That's his job. That's how he makes his money. He was invited to a concert. They guaranteed him that he was guaranteed, don't worry, there'll be security for you. Just come and play. And he even chose the place to launch whatever he's doing with uh, with one of those guys. That's his money. That's his earning. He's going after his daily bread. Right? That's, that's his normal. He came to London <laughs> after his daily bread. He's a show business and he has the skills to prove himself is well talented only god knows how many music this guy has written right he has those talent and and, and again i'm still going back to all this thing that you mentioned in yes you're right to say okay part of his household could be you know like a, what quite beating or you know i don't know whatever happens in terms of the killing right honestly speaking right but all i'm saying is this guy would have been able to actually defend himself differently i didn't be the system didn't fail him and that failed us mm. as nigerian i'm sorry okay okay on that as yeah. listen I, on I, that I, on that I, aspect yeah we are we, we all understand what you're saying on the bullying aspect and at the same time if you follow it that's why i asked you previously if you've been following the case and uh, you've been on the case for a while and you said yes and uh, so you, you can know that uh, you, you the police have already also um um picked up those people that are involved in this bullying that you have emphasizing on so and uh, we're talking about the and the police we hold them accountable according to their statement which is, yeah which is a public which is in the public domain so what i'm saying is where i'm going to is that um, is physical death now that is where we have to look at yes right now so the physical death if i may ask you you said you've been you've been on the case you've been following the case as well you, don't you think it's a bit of catch me if you can i like this platform because when yeah. i when i stumbled on this i was looking for a neutral place right that we can do and i and i saw some intellectual people that i can rub minds with that's why I listened a lot before I even saying I wanted to be on it, right? And uh, there are so many platforms which I don't, I don't fancy at all, to be honest with you. So, and I like to come in here that just to listen to the narrative about views of people all over the world. That's why I came to this platform. I'm not here to defend myself. I'm not here to defend whether the papa or the mama. Even most of the time, when people are laughing at the papa that maybe Baba is doing this, I still believe that the man is is mourning. I went through that. It's like a waves. Sometimes he hits you. This is a breadwinner. You know, and when you look at the, 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 the situation where they're coming from, from the slum, and you have somebody all of a sudden able to feed the family and you took him out. You know? Um, yeah. This yeah, is, so... Okay, let me, let me ask you a question. This part of this part of I see about the bullying thing, right? Uh, I remember the first video when the Baba said, Oh, I want money comfort by money. That's nothing. I was thinking, no, 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 no. That's not right. But that was his own understanding at that point, right? And with all the video that came out saying that oh, the mama was begging or the papa was begging and all that, he is yes. referring to his physical death initially. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. The papa was about what you just said. About, about what you just said that the papa talked about is not the malian that all those things he was just referring at that time yes. about his physical death that okay, he okay. is not uh, you understand so because there was a narrative out there that mm. that they sell to the public that the malians did that sorry you know, I, just you know, listen, I have a motive here. like i said i don't have a motive i'm nobody I, so let's let's get that straight don't listen to don't listen to yes don't listen to so and just talk about what they're doing please Please. Anybody that wants to, anybody that have any vital um, uh, I don't contribute, you I come don't. up. Oh. So listen, I'm a very easygoing guy, and um, I like Nigerians. To be Nigerian is my country. I have stuff there, right? And I hardly come home. To be honest with you, if not because of five years ago, 
I got remarried. I was away from Nigeria for 20 years before even coming. And I've been out of the country for about 35 years of my life. But I still relevant. I'm still in Nigeria. I don't care. Even at work, we some we face these orders about maybe, oh, Nigeria, you have to be careful. I work in the bank, right? But I'm very upright and I did my job to the best of my ability. And nobody can challenge me on that. So there are some Nigerians who are good and we're still carrying the flag high. So all this all, all these guys writing this thing stuff, I don't I don't support anybody. All I want is a fair justice for this guy. And let's take the president of the case and correct this thing for that happening in Nigeria. That's that's my Okay, um, let let me take you for a ride a little bit about this whole saga. So as a brother or a father and God forbid, you said you've, you've experienced a child loss before. Um, sorry to hear that anyway. So I'm just saying that you, um, Mubad, went for a show and they came home. <sighs> and before they got to, they were fighting, argument, quarreling, and so on amongst his peers, including his wife, right? And they eventually got home. Things got worse. And this was someone that just performed on the stage, on the show for that matter. And eventually, he's gone. They, wrote, they rushed him to the hospital. He was brought in dead. And they were advised to take the body to the morgue, according to the document that is out there. They decided to take the body home. So the family were con the father was contacted. According to his own side of the story, he was later told to go back. Everything is fine, but he eventually decided to go on his own instinct and he came to the house. He saw the body embalmed under the staircase. He went up and he saw blood, um, a bare sheet of uh, a bare sheet full of blood. So, and while all this is happening, the wife is there, the uncle is there, the brother is there. And we we'll begin to see videos where he was announced dead in the car. So, what would you say as a father or a brother or a relative to Mubad? That's, in, listen, I've, I've said that before, right? If the police are doing their job adequately well, right? If the, the house where somebody or where there's death, right? It's a crime scene. It's an homicide. Okay? Everybody up to their nails, to the full equal of their head, are a suspect. Okay, right? wait. Um, oh, oh, sir. And oh, they should oh, open what? it. They should all be arrested, questioned, and investigated. Uh -huh. And the place of the crime should have been condoned right to do a forensic search immediately not two days not three not four days i'm not dead